Grace and You Cooking Show segment is brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, bringing good taste to life. You. Of course, we're in September, so Chef Dwayne has cooked up something very special for the September celebrations. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How was your tent? Oh, it's still going. It's still <laughs> going. I'm in a soca carnival. Give me power. Move, you know? All right. All right? You, you see, it's the same thing I, I was saying earlier, that it's like we had two Fridays in this week. Yes, yes, and it come like that because everybody is anxious to get there. Yeah. So now we're here. And we're here. We're here. We're getting uh, ready for Juve and all that. Uh, it's, and it's, kind of it's going good. Uh, Grace has put out a lot, you know, the Grace float is coming out, so get into that. I'll give you more information on, on that Grace float for later. Um, all right, but what we're going to be cooking up today? Um, I was thinking something light, refreshing. Mm -hmm. We call it al fresco, very fresh outside. Uh, thing carnival. You see a lot of fruits. A lot of fruits. Yes, fruits will be hitting, hitting. Um, you know, we believe and we gotta get get into the fruits. Uh, especially after the carnival, you're gonna have to do a lot of fruits. They're very good with uh, energy and stuff like that, and right? Rehydration. And rehydration. Um, getting back, you know, Christmas is coming and everything else. You want the fruits start to step in. Uh, you could go toxic. You could go, you know, uh, everything else. No. So what I'm doing to, with this nice uh, array of fruits, we're gonna cook incorporate it with shrimp you know you got the shrimp ceviche you got the shrimp cocktail which is shrimp is very light okay, okay. but this time we're gonna cook the fruits okay cook the fruit cook the fruits okay, okay. and everything will come together okay well, let's see how we do this okay so we're gonna start with um the shrimp now these shrimp these shrimp here um, and generally within your kitchen you make sure you do fish meat mm. and everything on one board on one board and, and anything and it, else. right right it's called uh, no cross contamination even your knife you know you want to keep it keep your place clean keep your hands clean um, the basic chef uh, things no okay we're going to uh, use these uh, shrimp you could go head on or head off okay all right I let's know, try both let's try both you know Belizeans they're looking at the head and everything else but, but in there's terms a bunch of, of flavor in there oh okay there's a and also in terms of presentation present you can oh, do a lot more with the head that's right what I do I don't I, uh, I don't discard the head I use it for a shrimp stock uh, uh, base you know and everything else you know so I've this I uh, these are on peel I want to okay. keep in that flavor Right? I want to keep in the flavor for the so shell. So when you cook it in the shell, it has a better, it, better flavor. It has a but flavor. But how do you devein it and all of that? Well, the, the veining part, these shrimp, they're, um, they're huge, no? Mm -hmm. um, they're, good, they're good to go just like that. Why I did the, uh, the shell on is you, devein, you clean it yourself when you're eating it. If not, just go straight ahead. It's very crispy. Give a crunch to it. I okay. don't know. I <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I know it's just, I, I, just like the shrimp head, right? It's blending it's, your mind it, around. Right, it. right. Just like the shrimp head. There's a, there's a plate we call suck the head and eat the tail. All right? Okay. Shrimps. So what I'm starting with, I got some um, peel and unpeel, some head, headless. So I'll start with my fruits, you know. I'm gonna do a, a range of different fruits. Look at this uh, nice grapefruit. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Grapefruit is an excellent source, you know, fibrous energy, okay? Okay. You know, when you're talking about cooking this, that's what? something I've never done. But I do cook with citrus. Citrus, yes, and, yes. Um, you know, Oranges and lime mm -hmm. and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It, it's it's one in of my the sauce, in, in the, the sauce, gravy, right? It's one of good. my favorite go-to okay. uh, uh, accompaniments with my food. I always add fruits to my food. You know, if you go to the BTL Park, we do the turta. It, sh it has in pineapple with steak. Mm -hmm. it, it it gives a balance. It gives a natural sweetness to the dish, and uh, uh, the salt effect. You don't even need it. You're looking for that sweet. And the, the, the meat is already seasoned, so it, it balanced real good. And there's a lot of stuff that Grace has that, that you could incorporate right. with it, you know? We did some, we did some use with the stra uh, strawberries and stuff, okay? Good, so... Um, now we're going to do... With some uh, cantaloupe. cantaloupe. 
What's the difference between cantaloupe and muskmelon? I think the, it's the, the, the muskmelon is uh, the, the texture is uh, the the skin outside is a smooth. You could tell the difference, and you could smell the the muskmelon easy and there's then there's the honeydew which is the green mm -hmm. which I is like, even I sweeter that, right yeah, which I is even honeydew. sweeter right all right so we got some uh let's do some sandia one of my favorite uh, and you could do this before time you know but um this is real easy um, and with or without seeds with or, i go with seeds you know you can get the part without seeds, no problem, man. This, this is good for you, all right? Okay, we're getting there. Mm -hmm. Let's do the real thing first. You could, um, you want to do star fruit, any fruit you have, any fruit, there's, there's mm -hmm. always a fruit in season. So we're gonna do papaya too. We'll do papaya, let's do papaya. Papaya is a great uh, enzyme, uh -huh. you know? Let's get a place of this nice papaya right here. Now this one we go without seed. Bro. Yeah. Okay. Uh, or skin. It's like if you, um, you put the coconut and, and pineapple in the blender, right? Yeah. And you end up with the pina colada. Very simple. Aha, uh -huh, people say, but Dwayne, we don't see your knife skill, but I'm talking and doing this at the same time. That's, yeah. that's then there is a Western cut and there's a French cut and all that stuff. We won't get that's a whole nother show, right? Well, all right. So we have the nice fruit. Okay, you want to pop that on there for me? Good. That will saute down. I'm not going with no butter or no anything, as you notice. I just put the fruits right in there. And just okay, leave it and just leave it. Uh huh. Okay. So um, what I'll do add in there is a little bit of. Ah, what it. Co oh, right. coconut Some, uh, water. Coconut water there from Grace. All right. Real refreshing. You know, at the, the expo, this thing was flying. You know, it, it's very, very, very nice. Okay. You put in cilantro too? We, we add cilantro to the end. Okay. Because okay. I don't want it to just wilt away. All right. Now, when is the best time to add cilantro when you cook stuff? What, what I do, I have two portions. The One beginning, mm -hmm. so that will melt away and you get that, that the oil coming out of the cilantro. And the ending, which is the freshness you get off the smoke from the cilantro. Okay? All right. Good. So let's season this up. Well, you mind going my little kitchen in the back there? Pimenta negra. Pimenta negra. Mm -hmm. Sal de cebolla. That's right. Okay. And before we forget too, we have to make sure we mention who got the kitchen. Oh, the kitchen makeover, makeover excellent at the uh, expo. It was very good. Miss um, <clears throat> Carol Johnston, she's the winner of the kitchen makeover. Um, still coming to looking for the prize, claiming to go, right, go do half. Okay. So she's a lucky winner, lucky person. Need to come and claim that out. You know the rules and regulation and everything else. You have a limited amount of time. time so, so if you know her, tell her she has to come to Grace and get it as quickly as possible. That's right. Now, that's almost half there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go with shrimp. Good. I'm going to add these on the bottom. No, shrimp doesn't take long. No, it doesn't. Depending on, you know, the size and everything else. These are these are uh, jumbo shrimp. Well, on the whole, shrimp itself should be small. You're a little shrimp, you know. In the <laughs> but I don't well, know why it used to be, used to be <laughs> small. So no, I don't. The jumbo shrimp, I, you know, it's it's still a shrimp, right? So we'll put in a couple with the head. Yes, William, favorite, you know. Understand, Miss Quayar Mar is on. Yeah, she's vacation. on leave. She's on leave. Excellent. Probably having fun. Yeah. Okay. Let's do a couple with the heads on. See, they're already turning opaque. Nice and juicy in there, okay? And if the fruit is uh, melting into each other, which is excellent. Now, this could go on a, a bit of rice. You know, uh. you could, uh, a pasta, a fruit pasta yeah. medley, which is excellent. 
All right, so I'm going to squeeze uh, more citrus in there. A little bit of lime. A little bit of lime. Bring it all together. Okay. Now you put the lime in there. I too. put the lime all the, the the skin also, right? We'll have a nice, unique taste to that. Okay. And some coconut water. Mm -hmm. Pulp on everything. That's what I, I like about this. This uh, grace. A carnival shrimp. Let's let's spice this thing up, William. All right. So good. Shibal habanero, no? Ooh. You really know why I no, uh, eat none of this. Shibal habanero. Okay. So we have a nice simmer down, like a nice stew. This will just come together. The shrimp will be uh, tender, sweet at the same time by its natural uh, and then we'll element. Put in a little bit of cilantro. Cilantro at the end. At the end. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this this is very easy, guys. You guys, you got your you don't in the morning you do your shrimp smoothie. I mean your your uh, fruit <laughs> smoothie. You know. Yeah, shrimp, shrimp smoothie. smoothie. That's a new one. Yeah, All right, I like we, it. We're gonna bring that one too. Um, in the morning, you do your, your fruit smoothie, you got fruit left over, you got uh, shrimp, you got lobster, you know, you could all uh, put it together. And see, this is coming real nice and, and juicy, juicy, right? Yeah. Okay. And of course, let's do the cilantro. Can't go wrong. Uh, Miss Trudy, cilantro all the way, right? I'm a big cilantro person. Yes, me too. I think it's the... It has a nice pungent fresh flavor to it, no? Okay. Who would have thought? Shrimp and fruits. Mm. The proof will be in the tasting, That's people. right. And I don't know how much I'll taste because it has you habanero in spoon. there. Just uh. a little spoon. All right, forward. and in the meantime, let's, let's, let's uh, talk about uh, what's happening at Grace. Okay. While this continues to simmer. Yes, with the, with the makeover and everything else, Miss uh, Carol Johnson, you need to get down there and, and claim that great prize, man. I want to get I want to get into that kitchen for Christmas, and we'll probably do something from out there. Um, and then the carnival. Where is she from? I think Bel Belize City. Okay. 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 Um, the car uh, Carib float. Well, you pay fifty dollars. Okay. You pay fifty dollars, you get a you get a T-shirt and all you could drink. Okay, get there, sign up, sign up for the uh, the float. Okay, to be on the float. to be on the float with a T-shirt, a current T-shirt, and all you could drink. Okay, and and what else we have going? We have the milk, uh, the evaporated milk, and and the different kind of milk. What you do is you write your name, send it uh, where you buy it, send it in the in the at where you where you buy it. And um, there's over 500, there's 10 $500 prizes in that. So um, that's what's happening down there with Grace, okay? And then um, at the Panyard coming up next, one of my favorite. Look out for us, Malafish, Grace, will do our thing, okay? All right, and there's also something for San Pedro. This was, uh, we did a previous show with okay. my friend Anneli down at uh, Caprice. Hi, good morning. Thanks for watching us. And there's a lot of... Uh, Grace friends and, and family out there. Now with fruits, a quick question. Mm -hmm. The more you cook it, it's going to become more liquid, more right? Liquid, right. See, that's so, what's happening in, right in here. Okay? Which you don't, you want it kind of chunky? You want it, you want some uh, some clusters in there, you know, so you could bite at this. You, every bite you take will be totally different. Okay? All right. Okay? So, is that done? That's good. That's it's excellent. The, the shrimp. The shrimp is already... Cook, pick, right. Yeah. So you, you sit down with a bowl of this, um, you got your rice or you got your pasta, or you got your tortillas, you know. And um, let's plate this on the mala fish plate. All right. Okay. Okay. Wow. It looks good. I do this and I put uh, for a wedding one time. And it was amazing. That's why I love it. My carnival shrimp. We'll put it in the front. Put it up front. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's have a taste, man. Let's have let's taste this thing, right? Okay. Mm. I see pepper. You see pepper. Yeah. Start the morning, right? No, man. Okay. <laughs> that not make a ball. 
Okay, I found a little spoon. Let's use this little spoon right here. Oh, that one won't work. All right, what we're gonna do is, don't worry about it, we'll go ahead while uh, Chef Dwayne, uh, but look at it, it looks really amazing. Okay. Um, I'll just, you, you have the fruits and you, you'll still taste the flavor of the shrimp, okay? I'm worried about the pepper. Pepper, you won't hit the pepper. Burn. Good? Good flavor. Pepper though. The, the pepper is high? <laughs> Excellent. I, I, well, I could taste it. All right. Remember guys, thank you once again. Thank you, Chef Duane. And this is our carnival shrimp, which features a fruit of your choosing. And then you just uh, put the shrimp in there until uh, you cook it. Uh, remember how quickly shrimp cooks. Uh, very different meal. Uh, very light it, and nice. Yeah. Fr you taste the uh, grapefruit mm -hmm. you, um, as well. So you have all of those competing fla flavors in your mouth. And I taste the pepper. So, <laughs> but Chef Dwayne, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. And uh, from everyone at Grace, of course, drink responsibly for Carnival. Mm -hmm. That's and right. uh, make sure that you have fun. You have the opportunity to be on the Carib float. Carib float. $50, you get a t-shirt and all you can drink. Can't beat that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, it will be to talk about Wet Fet 2015. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after these messages. and you cooking show segment was brought to you by Grace Kennedy Belize Limited bringing good taste to life want Grace to give you a brand new kitchen well join the Grace We Care Sweepstakes 2015 renew your kitchen with a new Acres 30 inch stove and a Whirlpool refrigerator courtesy Odette's Home Center more in faucet and sink tiles and paint from Brothers Habet. And to top it off, six months free groceries courtesy of Grace Kennedy Belize Limited. Look for entry cards on selected Grace products at your favorite grocery store. Check the back of the entry cards to see if you've won one of over 800 instant prizes. Drawing date is September 6, 3 p.m. at Expo 2015. For more information, log on to gracekennedybelize.com or like us on Facebook, Grace Kennedy Belize Limited. Grace, we care.